Hello everyone, welcome back to Journey Beyond the Abyss. So, we have a potentially exciting day today. We have all the infrastructure that we need for right now. And we might just finally be ready to make some progress. Between episodes, as I said, I would. I cleaned up the rat's nest under the, best, the base just a little bit. Mostly migrated a bunch of pipes onto the floor. Straightened a few of them out. It looks maybe slightly more comprehensible now, and more importantly, it's easier to walk around down here now. Don't have to quest around to find passageways through quite so much. So, before we get going on any more things, it's about time that I finish the automation up on the Mechanical Artisan. And to do that, we're going to need to build another automated workbench for the to uh, for for the ah, for the steel mechanical components. So for that we're going to need steel scaffolding as per usual. Yep, we're just going to need to dig out our steel here. Just one batch should more than do it. Okay. We're going to need treated wood slabs. And I think that one, if I recall, it had a really annoying recipe. It was something like three treated wood and then six ash. Something like that. Yep, that looks about right. I probably should have checked to see if I had that in storage already, which I have one. I should have more than that if it only requires the two of them. I huh, wonder what happened. Maybe I didn't have enough to do a full craft last time? Uh, well, there would have been enough if I just looked into the carpenter. Oh well. We have some for the future just in case. So, one redstone for light. And two heavy and four conveyor belts. I need to make some more conveyor belt. That's easy enough if I had the leather for it, which we can probably achieve easily enough. Uh, da, 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 da. Get my purse of deniers out. And let's just run on down to the farms and uh, get us some. I wish I realized I'd needed leather because between episodes, I I, I occasionally do a little maintenance things off hands. Replace the tools and artisan workbenches. I've replaced the ones in the mechanical artisan just now. And uh, buying myself more tripes and stuff like that. And I recently went and bought tripes. I wish I realized I needed leather too, but... So it goes, so it goes. Yeah, all the shops down here have big tall grass because animal death kicks up dust and dust by and large behaves largely like carbon. Alright, it looks like the farmers are nice and close by. We're lucky. There we go. So just however much you'll sell me. A stack of leather, great. And with that, we should have enough to make tons of conveyor belts. You know, technically I think it should be possible for me to make an automated cow farm. Like, I've seen a few people do it with, like, dispensers and... Well, no, that would best be done next chapter, I guess. Because next chapter I should get Railcraft, and Railcraft has a machine that can automatically feed animals, I think. So that would allow me to create a fully automatic cow farm, potentially. If I want a cow farm in the first place. Which I might... You never know. Do cows drop bones in this pack? That might be a use for it. Hmm. 
in any case. I should just need a bit of iron and redstone to make a conveyor belt out of these leather. Conveyor. Yeah. My memory ain't so bad. And that is everything we need to set up the first of our machines today. So, I believe we made the decision that it's going to just be sitting over on this side somewhere because the ultimate input is going to be right about Schmer. Oh, I have figured out a way that I can sneak wood into the mechanical artisan on one of these spaces between the hoppers. I might do that. I might do that um, once we're finished with this machine. So, auto workbench. First of all, we need to determine where its output is. Its output is this way. So, light, a zigzag of scaffolding redstone. So, da -da 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 -da. too light. This might be a bit too far out. Hmm. Let's see, it's a 3x3, three three, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that'll be 2, 3. Yeah, that's probably good enough. I mean, it, it it's tragic that it'll have to zigzag around that. Uh, well, we'll see. We'll see what we're working with. So... Oh, no, wait, that is... Uh, I was mistaken should be like this, this, and this, correct? Yeah, that's looking correct. And then it's just like, duh, 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 with one of the heavies over there. That's looking correct. Okay, up next, the other two lights, the other heavy. And the slabs just kind of like that. And then these lovely fellows. And I think that should actually be it, right? I don't build these things terribly often. Where do you smack this thing? Right there. So sweet. Alrighty then. So. Now, obviously, this isn't enough. We need to make some machines to feed it as well. And we're going to just kind of... This is going to be a more or less mirror image of our machine over here, I think. So, hello, 12th Century Fox. Lovely to see you here. So, 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 so. That is how you lay out a metal press, right? Uh, yeah, it's scaffolding, red in the center, and then a piston on top, and a heavy on top of that. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yes, as you can tell, I'm just finishing up the automation on the Mechanical Artisan. Um, the good news is I figured out how we're going to get wood into there eventually. It doesn't particularly matter right now because we don't have automated wood anyway, but it's nice that I've figured it out. Uh, the trick is going to be using Immersive Engineering's item router, if you were wondering. But yes, in the meantime, we're just making the uh, the system for uh, finishing off the steel mechanical components. And then we'll be pretty close to just being ready to advance the plot. So this is kind of a victory lap of the chapter right now. The final, the final triumph over immersive engineering and all of its BS. So, the, oh right, requires conveyor belts too, of course. How silly of me. There we go. And those are going to need some plate presses. 
Wow, at the same time? That's getting ahead of your day. Nice on ya. Yeah, that's exactly what I said. <laughs> okay, so for this, we're going to need two plate presses. And... There we go. Well, I mean, technically, if I wanted to be maximally productive, I wouldn't be doing this. I'd be concentrating on ending the chapter. If I wanted to be maximally productive, I'd have probably ended the chapter a while ago, to be honest. Okay, so... Now, I think that I'm going to have to do that and like that... Can, do I have to make these pre-caged? Because I would want these... I would want these protected. Or can I just put scaffolding on top of them? I don't recall. Either way, I'm going to want to put a chest here into the output. And then we're going to want to run a control signal off of that. That is going to just uh, switch back to daytime, please. And then gonna need two gates. No, we're gonna need three gates, actually, I think. So this one at the end will simply read the chest and say when inventory on top is less than 25% full, emit blue signal. Blue signal runs down the length. And then, I think it would need to be on these two separate sides. Just to be safe. You are going to say, when not blue signal, emit redstone. Both of you. And that should automatically limit the output of this chest here. Now all I need to do is run power up to this system, and then run steel up to this system. So really not an all I need to do type thing, but meh. So I have a box of steel right down there. That is going to be easy enough. Let's see here. I think that what I'd like to do... This does need to be loaded with hoppers. No, not there. There. And I believe that what I'm... Well, it's kind of debatable on how necessary this is for the resource... Well, okay, I'm going to need tons of forestry machines. So yeah, yeah, this is being productive then. This is undoubtedly being productive because... Uh, we are going to need tons of those casings, and the immersive engineering parts all feed into that. So yes, yes, we are being productive. No way around it. Now, I think that what I'd like to do actually is... Look, chest. We'll put the chest right there so that it fills both of these evenly. And then we'll just put, like... We'll split off of this chest. Like so. And then it should just need pipe and pulser. A big surprise, I know. It's probably the most common use of gates. So you are going to say when inventory on top side Contains less than 25%. Pulse the pipe. As well as you. Same dealio. So now all I need to do is route steel to this box. You know, I could probably just put a stairway right here.
There, that's a nice convenient drop through. But yes, doesn't the underbase look slightly less cancerous now? I mean, it's still a mess. I knew it would still be a mess. But it's a slightly walkable mess now. I mean, it looks like... It looks like the uh, bronze is filled up and yeah, it was stuck on reading tin instead of copper. So it's loaded, or instead of bronze, I should say. So it's loaded up on stuff, but that'll fix itself. Oh, it looks like it's slightly out of ratio and it looks like some pollution is appearing down here somehow. Hmm, worrying. Worrying. Oh well. So... <laughs> I don't. It's nice being able to just simply walk everywhere. So, 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 so. Where is the mess representing this? Okay, cool. So that's where the... That is where the steel is. So then I need to get it, like, somewhere over here. Where is that box? There is that box. So, that is probably just going to run along the roof as much as possible. It will have to sneak down under these wires, though. Hmm. So that'll probably just sneak along the floor, I think. Yeah, when you can't sneak along the ceiling, sneak along the floor. Easier that way. There we go. And then it can just kind of uh, go a couple of more spaces just to preserve walking ability. That might actually be enough somewhere along here, yeah. There we go. Alrighty then. And I mean, it, it is still definitely a little bit of a maze, especially if you're trying to find a specific box to split off of. It's still not exactly a convenient arrangement, for sure. Our own logistics will eat us alive one of these days. It's just how life will be. So you are, of course, going to say when less than 25% pulse the pipe. And then we just run the blue pipe on down. All the way back to the last split in the old steel line. And then, I mean, uh, I could use, like, item frames, I could use, like, signs, I could use, like, yeah, yeah, there, there, there are things I could use to mitigate it, but ultimately that, it kind of adds to the jank over time, because then you are, uh, you're eating up additional faces of your pipe. They might take up a space themselves. So I might not be able to like put a sign here because that might clip this wire out of the way. So it's debatable how much it helps. Okay, so there is steel coming out. There we go. And now we have steel up in this box, which means we have steel up in these guys. All righty, right. Next, we just need to get power up here. And we're also going to need to get one more thing. We're going to need to get a, um, a blueprint for the, for the, um, for the automated thinger. Yes, 
the very technical thingamajob. The whatchamabooble. The who's a what's it. Did I use up all of my masonry bricks that I made? I guess I did. Well, that means it's probably time to just make another stack of masonry bricks just because. And by that I mean masonry brick blocks, not just, you know, brick. So just run that in. How's the field doing? It's doing fine. Let's go grab some pulp. Hmm. No, not that one. That one. Yes, yes, yes. The great whatchamacallit. There we go. Ooh, yes. Very important to the plot. All right, and that should all chunk down into brick sooner or later. Yeah, man, I, I admit it was a little bit painful watching your last episode when you were walking around with uh, enough refractory clay to turn your uh, to turn your kiln into a refractory kiln. And you were like, I'm going to turn these into bricks for a refractory burner. And I'm going, no, no, not yet. It's a trap. <laughs> You don't need the charcoal yet. You need the thing. You need the burner. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the delay is... The delay is real, so it goes. So it goes. I mean, not in there. Let's keep this in here. Yep. And then those and a piece of andesite oh i i will try and refrain from from saying i told you so when you finally when you finally do witness the power of the refractory kiln and realize what a fool you've been we also need to ah yes i um in order to get me some more frames i've turned smooth lighting off and it's kind of changed the uh it's kind of changed how the lighting on the silos works. They still have dramatic lighting. It's just more even now. Hmm. Well, I mean, if you're timing yourself to one hour episodes, then one of my streams is usually like three hours long. So. So we both kind of do nice long recording sessions, I suppose. Ah, need a bit more. There we go. Crofter. And then I should be able to take this over to here with one of these. And yeah, that should be Engineer's Blueprint for Crafting Components. Excellent. Yeah, I know how that be. I know how that be, man. They don't think it be like it is, but it do. All right, so we can put this here, and we are going to program this for steel mechanical components. All right, so, 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 so. Now, we need to put extractor there, and we also need to get a box of... Uh, a box of copper, like, over here. So, let's just kind of... Is there anything below there? 
Eh, it looks like there is something, but it shouldn't be too problematic. Yeah, that'll mark it nice and easily for us. Yes, yes, we shall have more wonderful stompy machines. Hmm. It is nice to have an excuse to uh, to use the stompy machines. I mean, I was considering just making a melter for liquid steel and casting it in my prototypes of this machine, but eh, the stompy machine is more awesome. And that's all the excuse you need. So, plugs. That's what I was looking for. All right, so... That is going to run out there... Now, where is the closest box of copper? Hmm. Let's see here. One of these should be a line of copper over here. Uh, that looks like steel. That's steel again. Where are you, copper? Are you copper? It's kind of hard to tell when I can't open up the boxes, isn't it? Eh, keep it daytime. Stupid freaking hypothermia. What are you? Oh, you're the wool line. Where is the copper? Okay, so let's just trace it from here. Uh, da, 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 da. You're redstone. You are copper. Okay, cool. So, down on here... Yeesh. The heck? Where are you going? Oh, you're going all the way up there. Okay, cool. I would think that I would use a split box somewhere along there. Hmm. Well, we can make a split box here. No reason why not. All right, so where is a good convenient spot for that? I suppose right here, just because we can run this along the floor. So, here, I'm gonna need to make some more extraction pipes pretty soon. And just down here. Come on, get in there. Cool. And let's just keep our pulsers out in our pack for right now. Naked and vulnerable as they are. It's so, so exciting. So you are going to say on blue signal pulse pipe. Likewise, with my last extractor pipe. Going into a downward path. You too shall eventually have this pattern passed down as wisdom from the ages. The single most common pattern ever programmed on a pipe. Which doesn't make it common and doesn't make it boring. It just means that you're part of the community. You can be assured that you're doing your part in the Great Logistics Network. Yeah! Okay, and meanwhile down here, let's have you... Uh, a quarter of a chest is a pretty big amount, so... There we go. Summon copper. And let's just confirm that this is copper coming in, right? Yeah, it do. It do. It do be that kapar. All right. So now I need to go and uh, just run this down. And that's going to need a couple of plugs to make this... Not quite uh, as jank as it could be. 
down there. Cool. Now ruin the pop. Yes, yes. Well, uh, you're gonna see that the intended way with the bloomery is, uh, well, it involves more anviling, and I don't think it's anviling that anyone has, uh, has created a scienced out path for. So you would be stuck doing your own research on that one. Oh. Please tell me it wasn't the one with the Jacques hammer on it. You shouldn't be having those thoughts. You're a pure and innocent being. Yes, the the intended way often is. Um, you shouldn't... <laughs> you shouldn't think of uh, the quest book as being the be-all, end-all. It's very much... Think of it as, a, as kind of like a puzzle with... Um, you're trying to find the optimal solution, not the, not, it's not holding your hand. It's, it's putting a challenge before you. And sometimes the quest book will kind of outright lie to you in what is the best thing to do. So you will be saying 25% blue signal. There we go. And then... Oh god. Why did I have to link that? Because it was so perfect. Yes, it was. <laughs> okay, cool. And then, over here, I need to make more extractor pipe. Yes. Uh, Agrarian Skies is almost, in a way, a tutorial mod pack, I think. It's very much there to kind of introduce you to every step along the way. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I can't do it that rapidly, but... <clears throat> and, and I don't think that... Uh, it was probably Seth MacFarlane doing that voice. I don't think he could do it that rapidly either. If you listen closely, there's some like audio clipping indicating that it was made that quick and that constant in editing. Then again, I'm constantly looking for that these days with doing syrup leaf, so that's kind of on my mind. What? Didn't I pick up that's so heavy? Oh. This. Carrying around my decor blocks. That would do it. Alrighty then, so... So now, with steel plate and copper being supplied... Get that turned the right way around, please. Now we just need to create our usual logic to get it loaded to ratio. True, true. So we're going to need three of these in total. One of them is going to need to be an AND gate, I think, and the rest can just be any old gate, I think. We're going to need blue cable. We're going to need white cable. So. You. Are going to say. That when the inventory on the south side. That is south right. Right. Is less than 25% emit blue signal. Great. So. You're also going to say, I'm going to use you in order to get our signal across. So, there, there, over onto there. 
So you're also going to say when item traversing emit white signal. So now you can say, uh, you don't need to be any, yeah, this can all just be straight up any old gate, I think. So you are going to say, wind blue signal, pulse the pipe, and I'll wait to turn you on. Yeah, true. Well, Tim LeRae is, LeRae or however it's pronounced, he's just, he's just in a completely different level. So, then you, you, and you, and you are going to say, on white signal, pulse both pipes once. And honestly, that should be everything that it needs. So now all we need to do is provide the system for power, let it build up some, uh, a little buffer of, of, um, steel plates, and we should be able to boot this thing up. All right, so let us decide where we're gonna get our power in. Oh, right, well, you need to build a limiting system off this, and we also need to sort the output on this. So, da, 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 da. I think I'm just going to use a wooden hopper just because that has just a one stack limit. Um, I'm going to need a block to put that on, I think, because I don't want it facing in any particular direction. So there is a storage, just an intermediate storage. And then that needs to extract out and jank over. Just like uh, so with an plug right there. And then we're just going to need a pill, sir. We're going to need a couple of gates. You need a bit of pipe wire. So you say when less than 50%, then emit blue signal. You say that while you have blue signal, pulse the pipe. And meanwhile, we run this over. And we say for you, when no blue signal, emit redstone. So, that should mean that when this particular hopper is full to 50%, it will stop loading the output and it will shut the assembler off. And that should be all the control this system really needs. And you know what? I think I'm just going to uh, take a relay like right here and run it like straight over from there. It would be neater to get it out from under the base again, but uh, we're going to be a bit lazy. I mean, I guess it's just so I don't have death cables crossing directly over within walking areas everywhere. I can just do it like here and then like, I don't know. Uh, okay, so let's put the connector there and then like a relay here, and then I should be able to connect that. Yeah, that'll work. That's kind of out of the way, 
unless I'm sprint jumping through, then even if I'm without my suit, I should be able to walk through this area relatively safely. Because in theory, it should only be the underbase that is ever dangerous. In theory. Okay, so... Now, I had a question about those conveyors, because I want to put scaffolding protection on them to prevent me randomly picking up, uh, picking up, um, product. Just when I'm passing through. So do I have to build that custom, or can I just slap that on like I can for liquid pipes? Yeah. Yeah, this is a eminently walkable area. So, can I just slap that on to here? No. So, I need to build some uh, scaffolded conveyors just custom. That's easy. I should have... I should have more conveyor than this in my storage somewhere. Eh, oh well, let's just build some additional ones. It's fine. That's just going to be two pieces of iron, one piece of redstone, three pieces of leather, and a uh, boop. And then just like this. Two pieces of covered conveyor. Two more... Uh, two more sanely get this off of the line. There, see? Now I shouldn't be able to accidentally pick things up just by walking by, which is one thing I really dislike about conveyors, is that, uh, see, if I'm just standing here with an uncovered conveyor, then it snaps into my inventory. It needs to... It needs to be... It needs to have this fancy protective condom over it to prevent you from just picking things up like they were entities sitting on the floor. And I think things can despawn when they're sitting on conveyors, too. I just don't like conveyors. Buildcraft pipes are... are much... are much friendlier for the large automation inclined, I think. In any case, so, uh, how much cobble did I put in here to prevent it from, just three stacks, cool. Yeah, yeah, having the little pneumatic pipes everywhere is very cool. There, There is that too. I mean, there is an appeal to the conveyor belts running everywhere though. They, they do have a certain je ne sais quoi. And yes, I'm just loading this thing up with cobble so that it will trip the 25% condition sooner, and thus won't be hogging up quite so many resources before it gets full. I mean... Depending on what you think of the cows in this pack, that could be a po that could be a negative. Okay, so if I turn you on Pulsar, then that should begin summoning... Oh, you're not crossing over. Okay, okay. Shut off. Shut off. Right. I forgot that the gates are going to mess up my crossovers here. So I need to move this pulser to bottom side. Can I slap that on from down here? No, can't. I'm going to have to go under the base again. As expected. Exactly. That just ain't how nature is supposed to work. Those cows are... are upsetting the natural order of things. Your dinner shouldn't eat you. Okay, so... 
now, with that, I should be able to restore peace and love to the universe, at least as far as this wire connection goes. And we should just be able to... Yep, that reconnects. Okay, cool. So now, if I pulse... There we go. Ah, uh, right, you're right, right. Hmm? Oh, shoot, it needs to be longer than that, otherwise... Okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay, cool. Lesson was learned. Item traversal on a path this short is no good for this. Okay, cool. So it needs to be a slightly longer pipe than that, so it has time to clear out of the pipe. That is good to know. Mm. I would almost say that's more because tourists. You know that those tourists are doing something stupid that makes them absolutely deserve it. Okay, so... Then, with that... And a plug, so it doesn't feed back into its own chest unintentionally. Then... So, we're going to need a gate down here, a gate over here, and that particular gate will be, A, what is causing our win item traversing emit white, but it's also going to be that when inventory on south side is 25% emit Blue. Cool. And then we can run you down. Give you Pulsar. And you can now say on blue false pipe. And that should... There. Now that's creating the proper behavior. Ah, now the problem is that it is not blue, it is red and blue, it is black and blue. Cool. No, wait, wait, wait. Single power pulsar, please. Okay, cool. So, shut you off one more time, reset you one more time. Make sure all our programming is in place one more time. And now, pulse. And now we should see it loading to ratio. All right, that looks like it's working. That looks like it is working more as expected. And we should see that when this thing um, caps out at however full it needs to be, that um, that it's eventually loaded to ratio. It's keeping itself pretty close right now, but... Uh... Ah, there we go. Yep. It is loaded perfectly to ratio. Excellent. And that is producing our steel mechanical components. Those are just coming on over here. Getting loaded into the lovely Mecha Artisan. And now we have everything automated except for the wood. And wood, unfortunately, cannot be automated until next chapter. But the fact that we have everything so streamlined means that we already have, like, more than half a stack of sturdy casings. More than half a stack of forestry machines. The hard part of them more or less finished for us. So, we're doing pretty good. Alright, so... Ah, <sighs> that was a lovely little break, wasn't it? Now, let us actually consider making some progress. It's been long enough. It's about damn time. Let's just load this with however much wood it can handle. Just to, just to get it closer to maxed out. I mean, go for it, man. 
Heck, start up a stream, we'll compete. <laughs> By all means, if I'm if I'm being good inspiration, snatch it while it's fresh. All right, so now it is finally time for us to dig out those thermionic fabricators we made a while back and look at what we need to do next to actually progress in the pack. So our next little bit of progress is going to be blocks of electrochine, which is going to be lead straight into super diamonds. Because these super diamonds use essentially blocks of electrine, blocks of, of redstone, and blocks of diamond. Now, blocks of electrochine are just nine electrochine in a thermionic. And blocks of redstone, we can make those in our compressor, but we can also make them more automated. Oh, what you writing? Are, are you working on like your uh, on your thesis or something? I think you said you were doing. Or are you writing something else? But yes, blocks of redstone we can do in a thermionic fabricator as well. And then the super diamond. So yeah, three thermionics is what we need for that. Because the blocks of diamond, they're just a regular old crafting job. They're one of the few things that you can block craft like you would expect. So all we're going to need for the blocks of diamond is a build craft um, builder. So... For that, let us just go ahead and da, 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 da. yeah, man, that is important. That is important. I know, I know. It's, I mean, I wouldn't call it so much thinking, but the work I have to put in to keep up with my release schedule on Syrup Leaf. I just finished editing today's episode of Sir, I believe, a few hours ago. <laughs> oh, I hope it's a good one. I actually bought a little bit of music for it. I bought the, uh, I bought the music catalog of, um, what's his name? Raven Skilled. Um, Ian Grimm is the name he also puts on his music. He does, he, it, it, it was just $7 for 150 songs, but... Still, I've actually put money into Syrup Leaf now. And hopefully that'll help me out in the future, because picking out music is always the thing that takes the damn longest. Okay, so... This... And... I spend way too long obsessing over what's the right music choice agonizing over it, getting frustrated and eventually saying screw it and just using a piece of music I've used before instead of trying to find something unique. It, it's just, I've made myself miserable with the choice of, of putting background music into the Let's Read. I hope that it adds good ambience because God is it awful. <laughs> Dulcet Love Mash? I don't think I've heard of them. Okay, so. Da, 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 da. And then. Like a so. Mm hmm. Yes, I, I do probably spend a bit too much effort in trying to find unique songs and all that. So, now we can take advantage over the fact that I've cleared out all this real estate on the top side. We can just kind of, let's see here. Uh, we're gonna need to be relatively close to both. We kind of need to find the center point between the redstone and the electrotine, I think. Hmm. No, his his uh his artiste name Raven Skjald is like Raven Shield, I think he said it was. So uh da, 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 da. um oh I'm gonna need way more hoppers than this. That probably means I need to craft more glue too. Oh well, oh well. 
So, yeah, this looks like the rough center point between the electric heat and the redstone. And let's kind of build this close in. So, this will be the diamond. It's it's a fine joke attempt. I My mind is just not in the right place right now because I'm trying to design this in my head at the moment. So this will be probably the redstone. This will probably be the electro team. Now we need to space this differently if we want even spacing between them, which I don't necessarily do. Yeah. No, I, I do want it to be one apart from it. So yeah, this needs to be space like this, like this, like this. Right. And then, no, it needs to be, it does need to be this right here. Yeah, cool. And so then the final guy can just be right here, but I need more hopper. Because yes, I do want these on hoppers because uh, thermionics don't build up a stack on their own. They need they need something pulling from them in order to build up a uh, to build up a collection. So da, 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 I need to let's see how much glue do I have? I've got seventeen. Let's take nine. That's a good number. And then stack of this. A little bit of these. And then we can just throw together some quick wooden hoppers. All right, on the carpenters. There we go. And... So, 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 so. And yes, I do think I want it to build up a stack of uh, Super Diamond, because I think Super Diamond is going to be used for various things. So, we'll just use the Wooden Hopper as a way of handling that. So, hmm. Although, actually, I think that... This will build up a stack all on its own, so it doesn't necessarily need a wooden hopper. But regardless... So, over there, over there, and over there. Up, and up. And a bunch of plugs. So, you, 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 and then connect you. All right, and that should be most of those inputs handled. Then we are going to need three more wooden hoppers. I guess they would be on top for the uh, for the glass casters. We're going to need casting tables for these two. And that'll put like power on the back, I guess. Yeah. All right, let's go get some casting tables. And we're also going to need some more liquid pipe, I imagine. Thankfully, I built a ton out when I was building the red line. 
also restock our pipe while I'm here. Eh, I should probably grab some more pipe wire, too. Just grab two stacks of blue. That should be enough to get me by for a little while. All right, so. The costing tables up here. All right, we need F7 mode on if it isn't already. And I guess that what I'll have to do is like, okay, so power, I guess would be on that other side there because yeah this one is going to need power input here so we'll run power on that side then we'll run liquid out there there so that's where our liquid glass is going to come in All right. And I guess then that means that the redstone and electrotene are going to have to come up out of here. And here. That should work. And then we'll put like... And, yeah, let's, no, let's not use a full power on, uh, yeah, let's put a power nipple here, I guess. So then, we'll put, like, a relay. I'm gonna need to make some more connectors pretty soon here. Just like that. But yeah, the power nipple will come out of the ground here, connect to that relay, and that'll power all the machines. All right, so now we need to run the glass over. I can find where that hole is poked in here. Where is you? You are a solid. I did poke a... It should be sticking out of the ceiling somewhere, shouldn't it? Eh, screw it. Let's just make a waypoint, because I can't navigate... Ah, uh, it's over towards the, it's over towards this side. Gotcha. I was looking in the completely wrong direction, of course. All right, so da, 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 turn blue waypoint off. Keep magenta waypoint on. Then run the glass line on down. Do I have a convenient... Hmm. More smelters occasionally getting pollution escaping. Worrying. Did I build something wrong in this? I don't know. I don't know. Regardless. Yeah, let's just split it off from here. And kind of... Jank it on down. Oops. 
just like so. Beautiful liquid glass. There we go. And that should be the glass all sorted. Indeed, that is just building up in the systems wonderfully. Beauteous. So next, we are going to need to grab us a little bit more water. Uh, I really wish beer hat technology was not beyond my ken. Then again, it would probably interfere with the suit, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it would just get me in trouble in the end. Wait. Did I forget to reconnect you? I must have. Okay, where was that problem child? Over there. Yeah, you're connected all right. What's going on here? You know, why are you no? Oh, does it not like being connected at two points on this thing? That might be the case. Well, in that case, take off this end and just kind of jank it over so that it's only connected at one point. And hopefully that achieves better uh, liquid pressure dynamics. There we go. There we go. Now the pipe is working like it should. Glad we cut that problem off before it became a mysterious whatchamahoozit. Okay, now what was I doing? I was making more power connectors. Right. So, gonna need to grab some clay. From here. And I don't think I'm going to wait for the automated system. We're just going to chunk this up ourselves. Because we got a real fast shovel. Way faster than the mechanical contraption, even if it's less convenient. And yeah, we might as well just make ourselves a dang full stack. So that we don't need to do this again for a little while. Beauteous. And then smelt her up. Ah, the failure rate on these things is high, so we're probably not going to get a full, full stack, but so it goes. And one of these boxes has aluminum in it. Two stacks should do. Then make HV connectors. Beauteous. All right. Even have some spare terracotta building up in the box that I forgot about. All right, so now we can make our power nipple over here. And we're going to need to find a place that power is running from. 
These guys. These guys. Let's see. Where is the closest part of the rat's nest? Hmm. Technically this, I think, but it's unfortunately... So, let's instead see if I can run off of this. Onto anywhere? That's probably gonna... Yeah, obstructed by pipe. Okay, so, needs to then go from this. There we go. And then we can kind of go down. To like here. And kind of... There. That's better. All right. And that should be providing power to the system. If I come up and take a look. All right. We just need to do this and then give it a good old tap with the hammer. A boop. And then we should see, yep, these things have filled up with sweet, sweet power juice. Alrighty then. So, last thing to do is to get the items into their appropriate spots and then get the gates all programmed. So, oh, oh dear. Let's see, options about blindly search my way to the waypoints. I don't know why JEI sometimes just bugs out like that. All right, so for this next part, I'm gonna need the yellow bag primarily. And we're gonna need lots of gates. We're gonna need lots of wire. I'm gonna need a couple pulsers. So, the way this should work is these are all just, I think I'm not going to make buffer chest for these. I'm just going to uh, use these because these have a pretty good size internal storage. They ain't going to overflow very easily. And in fact, I might want to give them a few stacks of cobble or something just so that they are, uh, they don't demand hundreds and hundreds of, well, it doesn't matter if they do. It doesn't particularly matter if they do. So yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, I think, will just run right off there. You, I think, will run right off here. <laughs> okay, so... If I can get in plug right there. Then, so that'll be diamond, and these two, it doesn't particularly matter which they are just yet. All that matters is that they get there eventually. All right, so. For the first run, I'm going to be working off this redstone line here. And that is going up to a thermionic. So we're unfortunately just going to need to uh, break this one for the moment. Just like, you know, we can just run this over to make it easier on us. Right there. Create a break. You are going to say when less than 50 produce blue. 
you need to change over to an extractor to restore the integrity of the main bus. And you are going to stay on blue signal pulse pipe. And meanwhile, you are also going to say that upon receiving a blue signal, you will pulse the pipe. And you just run up right all the way to our friend Thermionic and we'll program you when we can program you. So next should be one like right over here. Cool. You are going up into a thermionic, right? Right. So just run you on down here. And you, I think I'm going to have to run along the floor simply because you would have to cross over so many dang things. Let's just squirrel you around the glowstone. Be lazy about it. All right, so I haven't made a line for the Electrotene yet, but it's way down here. It's the very last one. So the box should be right there, yeah. All right, so that is just going to have to come out right here. And we'll see just how far along the line this pipe comes. It'll be a real short split, but that's that's honestly kind of optimal. I mean, not in terms of material use, but in terms of logistics capacity use, yeah. All right. So, yep. Just like so. And then... Just like so. So, chest like right there. Split off there. Cool. So, in the first case, we're going to just pulser, gate, and wire. Three great flavors that go great together. You are going to say on blue signal pulse pipe. And then we just run you on down. You pipe signal when less than 50%, produce blue signal. And then we just continue on down the line. So you are going to say on blue pulse pipe. And go right on downtown. Big long line of pipe. Love to see it. There we go, and that is already in the process of summoning Electroteen. Excellent. So finally, we should have Mr. Diamond somewhere around here. Yes, there you are. And you are once again going to be running way downtown. Almost as far as the Electrotene line.
I think the redstone ended up by far being closer than these other two, but so it goes. It's fine. All right, and... Dude, extractor, pipe. Another plug. And then gate and pulser and not a gate there. Why would I ever want a gate there? I did not ask for a gate there. Now I have to crawl all the way up onto the surface because you put a gate there. Game, I don't understand you sometimes. Can I just kind of sneakily... There we go. Disaster solved. You know, which is, with just that in hand, I can already just kind of program this. There we go. Yeah, and I can also program this. Get it going. Yeah, welcome back. I've just been continuing on this project, as you might expect. It is going us steadily. Ooh. Well, you're you're making something. Ooh, yeah. These things get all sorts of interesting widgets on the gates. But uh, what what you making for lunch that goes in an oven? That's fancy. That's fancier than I make my lunches. My lunches are usually either leftover dinner or a sandwich. I do go all out when it comes to making dinner. Dinner is my excuse for fancy cooking. But just a lunch. Yeah, I, I don't go too far from my lunches. Yes, as we see, these things are producing and you ready? You ready? We made quest progress. Huzzah. Yes, we've produced blocks of electrotine. Beautiful, tasty, wonderful quest progress. Mmm. Oh, this is gonna be my personal sniffing glue. There's none sweeter. Ah, that feels good. All right, let's finish running the pipe of diamond over. So I think that I can just kind of sneak this wire onto here and say uh, less than 25% produce blue signal and you'll be fine. We can just kind of run you on down if you'll let me reach everything should have done that while I was up top side oh well and I need more blue pipe as always the perpetual mantra of the modern age Alrighty then. And let's just pick up a couple stacks of it. Mm-hmm. So you haven't answered me yet. What what are you what did you make for lunch? Like, I don't think I've ever made a lunch that went in the oven outside of like a frozen pizza. I do real lazy lunges, man. All right, down the line. All right, I wasn't done yet. Laying out this layer. Uh, I might need more pipe.
But I guess we'll just see. We will just see if we are sufficiently piped. It looks indeed like we are. Excellent. Hmm, always good to know that we're sufficient at laying pipe. <laughs> not when you have uh, not when you have limited time, limited energy, and other shit to do, man. Okay, you stocked to fifty percent. Blue signal. You. Gate, pulsar, blue, and on blue signal pulse pipe. Down you go, connect you up, and that should be diamond. Oh, did I not program this? I didn't. Why you do this? All I want to do is program the damn gate. That gate is not the... Is that gate a render error? No wonder you're freaking me out, man. All right. So you say... On there. Cool. And there goes Diamond. All right, and that should be everything getting into stock. And yep, here we have diamond blocks being made, redstone blocks being made, electrotine blocks being made. All our pieces are in place. Time to just assemble them. Huh. I mean, yeah, that, that is simple. Not quite as simple as slapping together a sandwich, but so it goes. All right, so. So, 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 so. So, this and this. Oh, come on, why is it so cold out? I should have some tinder somewhere. That'll do her. I still don't know why pipes think they need to connect to these. Actually, no, that need that we can make that functional. We can make you a pulsar. Cool. Okay, so pulsar on that side. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me up. Oh, you won't let me up because there's a thing in the way, right? Okay, so... Gate. Gate. Pulsar. Okay, so... First of all... You are going to come on back here, and you are going to be our ultimate limiting thing because, okay, our recipe, I might as well kind of uh, get it programmed in here. So our recipe is going to be diamond block in the center, and then... Four blocks of redstone, four blocks of electrotine. And that is going to be super diamond. Just like so. And we just need to replace that. And we need to replace that. No chiseled variants for us, please. And if we just plop these in, we should see that already crafting. Yep. Yep, yep. Thermionic fabricators are, in fact, very, very fast. But they only extract when something pulls on them. So having these hoppers on them will be kind of essential. Huh. 
Oh yeah, it only made one. Okay, cool. So, next. So you are going to say on 25% produce blue signal. You are going to say on blue signal eventually pulse pipe. But first we want to program the rest of these. So with that, we're just going to make a nice little, I think I can't have this on this side. I need to have it on the top. Okay, so you are going to say 25% blue signal. We're also going to get some structural pipe here and here. And you're just going to create a crossover all the way across that'll eventually be going down into all these systems. And you will say, whenever item traversing, produce white signal. And then we need to just get you on down here. And these unfortunately cannot be, these need to be gold gates, yeah. Because you are gonna say on white signal, then pulse four times. Same dilly for you. And I think I can make this slightly more optimal by pulser and pulser there. So you just get on. Yeah, I think I just need to run it across. Like so. Okay, so you say on white signal, pulse one of them twice and pulse the other one twice for four in total. There, that's a bit more optimal. Same deal for you. Okay, so now, if we update this to say on blue signal pulse pipe, then what we should see is it'll fill up first with diamonds and then with those, and it should be loading it to ratio so that it's producing tons of super diamond for us. And oh, is not that a beautiful, wonderful sight? Automated super diamonds. We done it. Another piece of quest progress. Beauteous. Blank patterns. Less than useful to me at this stage in the game, but thank you anyway. If I could send those over to Fox, I would. So super diamonds are kind of a neat little product. They have uh they have they have a bunch of uses most of which are going to be in the next chapter. But one thing that they do a lot is in these thermionic fabricators. No? Ah, yes. You see this slot over here? That is the ingot cast slot. And I think the carpenter has one too. Uh, yeah, but it doesn't look like it's used in any of them. And that ingot cast slot is, um, it's not used up. So essentially what the super diamond does is it unlocks a bunch of recipes for the thermionic fabricator. One of which we actually have over here. Yes, this machine that we built out a few episodes ago that unfortunately we couldn't complete just yet because this machine here requires a super diamond in this slot. And now if we look at this, you see it's heating up because now it has a recipe. It's trying to make sandy coal now.
And you see, we're producing sandy coal compound. And we could produce silicon out of this. All the way up to... Uh, we, we finally have the ability to make those circuit plates if we want to. And finally get access to comparators and the like. That is just one among many things that these super diamonds have unlocked to us. Alrighty then. So, 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 so. And uh, yes, they are required for uh, making electrotine and redstone alloy ingots. Yes, yes, silicon bulls. And we're going to need the red alloy and electrotine alloy because we're going to need it to make the petroleum infused. Yeah, we're going to need we're going to need a red alloy ingot as the ingot caster and I don't know if that's used up or not in this case. But we're also going to need four pieces of electrotine alloy and we're also going to need enriched petroleum as the liquid for this. As well as super diamonds themselves as part of the craft. So yes, it's good we automated them. Indeed, they're very neat looking. Well, I mean, I imagine that this that this wonderful super diamond is pretty shiny. Hmm. We produced a lot more. Oh, it's because I hooked up the electrotine first that we have so much more of it. Hmm. Well, I'll be honest with you, this is a super late night stream for me. <laughs> I I got started on this one way late. I didn't get my usual nap in because I was so busy editing Syrup Leaf. And I think I am about out of motivation to continue. <laughs> oh, it feels so good to finally break the... Uh, uh, no, it, it, it is a catalyst. See, see, it, it's just, uh, it's just, um, it's just being used. We've already got a stack of the stuff. It, it doesn't have durability or anything. It's just a catalyst. You just need one. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is it is time for me to call it a night. But this has been a tremendous night, even though it's been a relatively short episode compared to, compared to the logistics building we've been doing. Because, for the first time in a while, we have made viable progress. And isn't that a beautiful feeling? Isn't that a wonderful feeling? Yep, yep. I'll be looking forward to your next episode, Fox, and uh, whatever you have planned with that Jacques hammer. And... Uh, you you take care as well, man. But uh this this feels so good having having these numbers going up for the first time in a while. Ah, good, good, good. Everything is going according to plan. Beautiful, wonderful. Ah, uh, these are all depleted because they've been all going into this into yeah, we have a stack of sturdy casings. Ah, nice. And if you haven't figured out, mine is uh, every day at 6 a.m. Uh, cent Central American time, Texas time. All right, well, everyone, Fox, thank you for joining me on this. You get back to writing your thesis, man. You got to get that. You, you, you got to show people that those brain meats of yours ain't quite so uh, beat up as you make it seem on your Minecraft channel. And uh, everyone else out there in the world, thank you for joining me on this. Have yourself a beautiful day. Have yourself a lovely evening. And I will see you on the next one. Good night, everybody.